the splash again. Rob Van Dam is in trouble as Big Bear takes a bite out of Van Dam's face. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to PCW Bury Me Softly. We are still in round number two. We'll be on the second half of the bracket and to be honest with you, there is some absolute killers on this second half of the bracket, man. We got the return of Big Bear. We have Brock Lesnar making his debut. We have Rob Van Dam making his debut, man. We got Charlotte Flair who also has Ric Flair in this tournament. There is a lot of things going on in the second half of round number two. And we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get into this tournament here just in a second. If you aren't sure what PCW is, PCW is a monthly simulation tournament with wrestlers representing patrons from my Patreon that are a tier of $10 or more. Every patron that signs up, that's you, will be assigned a wrestler and will be put into a bracket. And every month we have a tournament to crown a PCW champion for that month. Then the winner of the tournament for that month gets a chance to face for the PCW World's Championship currently held by Wesley R. and Naito. As usual, I would love to hear what your favorite match of the episode was. So you tell me down in the comments after you finish watching. And let's get into the first match of round two, part two. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Zadok V from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Brock Lesnar. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Jordan J from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Alistair Black. Here we go with the first match of the video. We have Alistair Black facing off against Brock Lesnar. Alistair Black, a PCW veteran. Brock Lesnar, on the other hand, making his debut in PCW. And Brock, you're going to have to get used to these Boston Crabs, baby, because we got them all over the place. PCW is all about the Crabbies. Look at that. My man's going for the legs of Brock Lesnar. Probably a smart decision, to be completely honest with you. Goes for a kick there. Doesn't even phase Lesnar. The speed and agility versus the sheer strength is going to be the tail of the tape for this one. As Brock Lesnar throws him over his head with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And that's the power. The strength. The Could you combine the words power and strength? The strower. The paint. <laughs> Brock Lesnar does it. Doesn't seem like it could work, but Brock Lesnar does it. It's incredible. As both men go to the corner of the ring here, a body slam sends Alistair Black to the outside of the ring. Oh, Brock was going for something, but Alistair's able to get that body slam. A scoop and a slam! I saw that comment. Alistair now firing off with... Oh, okay. He was firing off with some forearms and decided to go into a little stretch action. Oh, my goodness. What the? That was like a dragon slam. That was interesting. Brock Lesnar bringing out some new moves here in PCW. Okay, I can dig it. Alistair Black with a suplex sending Brock Lesnar to the floor now. He has him in the corner exactly where he wants him. But Brock Lesnar's going to be able to get out of that. I can't believe he was actually able to knock him down there with that move, but he was. And here we go. Brock with the power. Alistair Black, though, getting the upper hand. Color me shocked. I cannot believe the man pulled it off, but we're going to Suplex City. Brock Lesnar is through playing around. Oh, wait a minute. Alistair Black from the top. Big moon salt on the Brock Lesnar. No, that is not going to be it. As Lesnar deadlift German suplex. Goes for the count just a one. The four. Oh, my God. Brock Lesnar's getting brolic. Brock now, the forearms, the, oh, 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 these are legal in PCW, these are legal in PCW, and he is looking to take out Aleister Black, but Black to a fire back with a stretch of his own, belly to belly suplex sends Aleister Black to the floor, and Lesnar is feeling himself, look at that tattoo on his chest, look at it, it emits power, it emits Strower, a package there by Black, but that's not going to be it, oh, Black man! Out of nowhere! Two. Oh, it's just a two? Wow, did you see how that setup worked? That was incredible. A big power bomb there from Lesnar. 2.9. Alistair Black just answering the call. Lesnar went for a clothesline and Black answered with that black mask. That was quite the little move there. Lesnar back in the ring now, getting stretched out by Alistair Black. This is not where Lesnar thought he was going to be going into this matchup. 
Oh, they both went for a clothesline at the same time. Black going to be the one that comes out on top there. Lesnar now belly to belly off the ropes. As we have a reset here at 8 minutes and 30 seconds. A clothesline is thrown by Alistair Black. Brock tried to shoot on him, but Black moved out of the way. Black Mass misses. Now Lesnar's doing his little thing where he jumps back and forth. Lesnar now getting down to the bottom here. Big suplex by Alistair Black to the floor right in front of the commentator's booth. Elbow to the back of that, going for a pin. Can't go for the pin on the outside of the ring. Alistair, you know that. It looks like Brock Lesnar's hits are starting to do a little bit of damage to the brain of Alistair Black. As Brock Lesnar rolls back into the ring and just floors Alistair. Just absolutely floors him with that punch. Oh, wait a minute. F5 to Alistair. But Brock can't get the pin. He cannot get the pin. Alistair Black is saved there, belly to belly off the ropes. We saw that a little earlier. The kick straight to the face of Alistair Black. Suplex City sends Alistair Black straight into the center of the ring as Brock. Oh, he's going for a suplex, but Alistair Black able to get back into it and get a reset here at 11 minutes. Picking Brock Lesnar up off the ropes goes Lesnar. Big elbow drops him like a sack of hot rocks. Body slam Lesnar in the corner. Could be seeing. Oh, a black mass just flipped. Is Brock going to lose? And Brock Lesnar has lost his debut here in PCW. The veteran Alistair Black picking up the W without Paul Heyman. Hey, that's just how it be sometimes, Brock. It's a shoot, brother. PCW ain't playing no games. That was a hell of a match to start the tournament off, and Alistair Black and Jordan J will be moving on to the next round. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing John W from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he's from your neck of the woods, Big Bear. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Alton M from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Rob Van Dam. Look at this matchup. We have the returning Big Bear facing off against Rob Van Dam. And while I say returning, I mean returning to this channel, as surprisingly, we have a matchup where both of these people are new to PCW. Big Bear making his PCW debut. Look at the strength. Look, this is why Big Bear is a crowd favorite. Okay, this is why he is a crowd favorite. And this man has come over to take over PCW. But Rob Van Dam is trying not to let it happen. One five-star frog splash, and that could be the end of Big Bear as he is trying to choke him out. Do you see the fur on this man? He is looking good. <laughs> big Bear with a big splash. But Rob's going to go ahead and stop that while he can. Off the ropes. Oh, my God. The Big Bear punch. The splash again. Rob Van Dam is in trouble as Big Bear takes a bite out of Van Dam's face. Van Dam is bleeding. Big Bear is through playing around. He has the full mount on RVD. RVD can barely see the blood trickling down the face as Big Bear looks to end this match. Center of the ring, Rob Van Dam with a backbreaker trying to fight his way back in. Go for the little legs of Big Bear. But Big Bear's going to fire back suplex of his own on RVD. He picks him up with a big spear. The return of the beer. And now, oh, he went for that big spinning kick. But the punch just floors Van Dam. Big Bear has got to be one of the favorites to win this tournament. But RVD is trying to make the upset happen. A bite out of Van Dam's face again. Oh, and Van Dam is just this man. Is, what is Big Bear doing up here? Big Fred, the disrespect from Big Bear. This man has lost. Oh my God. The, he's at the, the mount. The mount. Good Lord, Big Bear. The knees, look at this man. A big splash. Uh, oh my God, but he's, he ain't playing around. Five star for the disrespect, Van Dam. I'm, hey, Ref James might have to stop this match. He might need to stop this match. This is getting out of control. Van Dam might never wrestle again. Look at this man flexing. 
What is happening here? As Van Dam tries so hard. He tries so hard. Oh, man. He's got him down. Is Van Dam going to give up? Big Bear with the kick. Go look at the muscles on Big Bear. He's up at the top. Big Frog Splash. No, it's just a two Van Dam. Of course, knows exactly how to get out of a Frog Splash. Goes for the legs here. Trying to get something started. The momentum needs to shift. Look at that from Big Bear. Center of the ring as Big Bear wants to end this. Oh, nice little move there from Van Dam. Goes for the spinning kick. Big Bear is not even phased. Good God, he's got the full mount. Van Dam is not giving up. Oh my, not the splash. Big Bear, what are you doing? Van Dam, look at, oh my, the uppercut just floored him. Big Bear wants to end this match and it might just end right here. No, Van Dam is still fighting. You gotta love the heart of Rob Van Dam. Big Bear does not care about concussion protocol. Off the ropes goes Van Dam. The big punch from Big Bear. The splash here on Van Dam. And that is enough to end this match. Big Bear and John W. will be moving on to round number two. Somebody had to lose, people. You didn't want to see it happen, but someone had to lose. And Big Bear was the one to win and move on to the next round. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Barry Misafu Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Hale Mendoza from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Tommaso Ciampa. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Mr. Weston from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy made his debut in PCW in the last round, and now here he is fighting off against Tomato Cheddar himself. Jeff Hardy made quite the name for himself in the last round as he absolutely blasted. I mean, absolutely insane match. Jeff Hardy is looking here to do the same to Tomato Cheddar as he gets him in the corner. Oh, he was looking for that move, but Cheddar's been watching the tapes. That smart move there as he goes for the pin here. Just a one count as we get started here in this matchup. You got to kind of get a cool down here from the Big Bear match, but Jeff Hardy ain't going to let that happen. He's going to bring the heat no matter the situation. Of course, he's going to go for that arm here. A rings of Saturn on Jeff Hardy, but that's not going to be enough as Jeff drags him to the center of the ring now. Big front missile drop kick from Jeff Hardy, who is slowing the pace down a little bit. Throws a big kick center of the ring, and that's able to drop him. Another front missile drop kick, but going to the well maybe a little too much as Tomato Cheddar knew exactly what was coming and was able to move and get out the way. Hardy off the ropes. Now on the ground, Tomato Cheddar wants that arm. He wants it. But Jeff Hardy's not going to give it to him for free. Middle of the ring, front missile drop kick. Going to the well a little too much again. As Tommaso is able to stop him. Now, wait a minute. Buckle bomb from Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, wait a minute, Jeff Hardy able to roll through. Just a one, he's able to get out as Jeff Hardy now looks to keep the momentum going in his favor now. In the corner with the suplex. This is not where Tommaso Ciampa wants to be. A swan tom bomb at any point could end this match in a second. Wait a minute, what is this? A big punch there from the top rope. The Memphis Fist. Suplex from Jeff Hardy now center of the ring. It really doesn't matter if they're near the ropes, near the turnbuckle, where they're at in the ring. Jeff Hardy could probably hit them from anywhere with the swan tom bomb. What is this from Jeff Hardy? Yo, oh, what? Is my man Rey Mysterio in 99? What is going on? You barely ever see the dragon run and my man brought it out. That's crazy. Jeff Hardy, I'm telling you. Wait a minute. Burning hammer, what? Oh, Jeff Hardy kicked out. Oh, wait a minute. Twist of fate from Jeff Hardy. 
Is that gonna be it for tomato cheddar? No, 2.9. I'm telling you, PCW, these dudes, they need to win this championship. They will put it all on the line. What a reversal from Tommaso Ciampa as he grabs the arm, but Hardy able to get out a senton flip there. The suplex sets him up perfect in the corner, and Hardy goes to the corner. Wait, he waits for him to get up. Big front missile drop kick drops Tommaso Ciampa. Hardy's got him back up, hits him with a kick, but wow, how is he able to get up? That's crazy. Drops him with a little white noise now. Just a two as Jeff Hardy is able to kick out. Goes for the discus lariat. Did you see the force he had on that? Wow, what a little move there. As Hardy goes, oh, that's a double foot moonsault into the swanton bomb. Is that it? No. How? How? In what world? Oh, they look like it might have been that lung blower, but Hardy's able to roll through. No, just a two count. Hardy. Oh, wow. What a move. I thought maybe he was going for a DDT, but he's now choking Jeff Hardy out with a move that his brother used to use back in TNA Pro Wrestling. That's not what it's called. <laughs> That's what it was called. Jeff Hardy, center of the ring now, off the ropes. Back down to the ground, and on the ground is not where he wants to be. Tomato Cheddar said this is the end of the match. He's calling it right here. But Hardy back to his feet with a body slam off the ropes. Basement drop kick right there, drop some good. Now we're back in the corner here. Oh, another burning hammer from Tomato Cheddar. Just a two again. Jeff Hardy is just insane. This man is just insane. Look how long that taunt was. There's that front missile drop kick. I guess he wasn't prepared for that. Oh, an eat defeat from Tommaso Ciampa. As Hardy gets him up for that suplex again. As we have a reset, 12 minutes, 20 seconds into this match. Maybe looking for a German suplex. Able to roll through. Jeff Hardy trying to get the pin and move on to the next round. 2.9. Tomato Cheddar is able to get out. Another roll through from Jeff Hardy. He wants this match. 2.9. Able to kick out again. A punch to the abdomen now. A kick to the back. Tommaso Ciampa is looking to get this victory. But Jeff Hardy's going to pick him up off the ropes. Big back body drop, picks him back up. Oh my God, 13 minutes, 50 seconds in this match. These dudes are firing off. Big discus lariat, and now Tomato Cheddar has got him right where he wants him. No, Jeff Hardy is actually able to get out of the corner. But wait a minute. The lung, oh no, I thought he was gonna go for the lung blowers to sit out power bomb. Still not enough, 2.9. Jeff Hardy, swat top bomb! Is that it? No. A two. Whoa, what the hell? Jeff Hardy with the flip out of the corner into the suplex sends him to the outside of the ring. <laughs> Jeff Hardy flies. <laughs> Jeff Hardy has shown us nothing but incredible matches his entire run here in PCW. The man is putting it all on the line as he looks to move to the next round. Get the roll up. Pin no 2.9. We got a submission here from Tommaso Ciampa looking. Jeff Hardy, is he going to give up? Jeff Hardy, body slam in the corner. Swat Tom Bob, and I think that is all she wrote for Tommaso Ciampa. As she a kick out again? What is it going to take? Jeff said we'll figure it out. Man cross body. <laughs> And a three from Jeff Hardy with the crossbody. <laughs> Able to catch Tommaso Ciampa off guard. I think maybe he was expecting another Swanton Bomb or something of that sort. A standing one would have been crazy. But honestly, you don't never know what to expect from Jeff Hardy. As Jeff Hardy and Mr. Weston move on to the next round. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Barry Misofli Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Mass Effects from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Austin Aries. And his opponent, 
representing the Irish born from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Charlotte Flair. Austin Aries bringing the shorts back out. Charlotte Flair in the same tournament as her Faja. Some crazy stuff happening here in PCW. As this match could go either way, I believe Charlotte actually towers over Austin Aries. I think Charlotte is a solid six foot. I think Austin Aries is about five nine, give or take. Now the chops in the corner. Can we hear it? No, no woo from Charlotte. She's in full control. She is very focused and she is trying to move on in this tournament. Austin Aries is going down like a sack of hot rocks as Charlotte is just manhandling him. Aries is trying to fight back, maybe shift the momentum, but Charlotte is literally just destroying Aries at every moment. Anytime you think Aries might have the upper hand, Charlotte, did you, slapped him in the back. Slapped him in the back. That's what we doing, we slapping in the back. Okay. You know, Ric Flair might be out of this tournament, but Charlotte Flair is looking to keep this going for her family. Defeat Aries. Oh, wow. The taunt. Going for the pin here on Austin Aries, but no. Charlotte Flair. Look, I mean, just look at this. She is adjusting the... She is about to let this fly. Oh, the shot block low on Austin Aries. And she had to get real low for that one. Dropping Aries right on his... Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, and they keep going in Charlotte with the chop knocks down Austin Aries. But Aries, oh, play impossum. Interesting move there from Aries as he hits a neck breaker on Charlotte. Charlotte able to answer the call first there in the corner. Now off the ropes goes Aries into a big sidewalk slam. Charlotte trying to get Aries from behind, but Aries is gonna go behind Charlotte and hit her back with that backdrop. Charlotte go right. Charlotte saw that chop opportunity. She's going to take it. Body slam by Aries. Drop Charlotte there. Center of the ring. But Charlotte, I thought she was going to maybe go for a dragon court screw. Wait a minute. Figure eight. Is Aries going to give up? Center of the ring. There's no rope breaks in PCW. That is a tough move to get out of. But Austin Aries is a tough dude. As Charlotte drops him again. And she wants it again. Is Aries going to give up? Is Charlotte going to keep it going for the Flair family? No, Aries looking to stop it. What is Charlotte doing? What is Charlotte doing? Moonsault to the floor on the outside. Charlotte Flair has lost control. She is absolutely insane. Aries Death Valley driver onto the floor. These two are giving it all out here in PCW. They want to be the May 2018 champion. As Charlotte is now back in the ring throwing chops, Aries throwing forearms once again. Death Valley driver. I thought that could have been it. I thought maybe we were going to see something crazy, crazy from there. But Charlotte's able to answer the call and get back up. Dropping Charlotte there. From behind, big forearm smash. And the chop. And the punch. And Charlotte looks like she wants that spear. Charlotte off the ropes, big boot. Is Aries gonna be able to answer? No, the big boot just knocked Aries out cold. It must've been the height difference. That foot hitting him right in the noggin. And Charlotte Flair keeps the dream alive for the Flair family and moves on to the next round in PCW, Bury Me Softly, brother. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW, Bury Me Softly, brother tournament. Introducing first, representing Hell Spartan Z from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Seth Rollins. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Jordan D from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Neville. Look at Seth Rollins with the white and gold attire, Neville with the black and gold attire. We'll see which one can go out of this match. This match is going to be quite work rate heavy, I believe, here. And I really don't know who I want to win. I don't know who is going to win, to be honest with you, because either of these dudes could get it. Oh, he went for the Hurricane Rana there. But Seth Rollins is going to stuff him with a powerbomb early into a swinging neckbreaker. And Rollins has taken the advantage early on in this matchup. Seth Rollins and Hell Spartan Z versus Neville and Jordan D. 
Rhyming like a Dr. Seuss book here as Neville rolls through trying to get a pin on Seth Rollins, but not even going to get a one count. Ref James didn't even get a chance to put his hand on the mat. Standing moonsault from Neville. And you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff like that as Seth Rollins looks to get Neville in the corner, maybe looking for that buckle bomb. Oh no, he's just going to spear his abdomen, go after those abs of Neville. But he's got so many. I mean, what do you? which one do you target? I don't even know. Rollins back to his feet. Now Neville and Zagiri off the ropes. Now they run into each other, but Rollins is able to throw a punch before hitting a suplex to the floor on Neville, sending him to the outside. Seth Rollins going to try to chase him. Maybe not the smartest decision as that gives Neville the upper hand, but Rollins was able to fire back with a kick of his own and knock him down. A two count already. Interesting. DDT there from Rollins as he hits that Boston Krizabi. That's the fire throw special. Off the ropes now, Neville, wow, what a hurricane runner there from Neville. As he hits a suplex now in the corner, which is not where Rollins want to be. Anywhere near that rope is going to be a difference changer, to be honest with you. Basement slide drop kick there from Neville, and now both these men are firing off the uppercuts, the punches, back and forth action here in PCW, and we are still going as Neville drops Seth Rollins with that last uppercut and goes straight for the knee, which is a smart decision. A surgically repaired knee, but the super kick will drop Neville, and now he's going for the pin. Just a two. As Neville is able to answer that pin, thank goodness. Falcon's arrow there from Seth Rollins. A two count, 2.9. Neville almost losing to that. And now the combination from Seth Rollins. Oh my God, this man just knocked him out flush. 2.9, I thought that was it. I thought that was it, to be honest. I thought Neville got knocked into the next century. Seth Rollins is crazy. He is absolutely crazy. Frankensteiner from Neville, Red Arrow. One, two. And it's just a two. Seth Rollins able to answer the pin count. Basement slide drop kick once again from Neville. He's throwing punches, trying to get something started. Northern Light suplex, no pin. No pin breaks from ropes in PCW. As Rollins picks him up with the big clothesline, drops him flush. The boys are going at it now. Seven minutes, 45 seconds into this match of a body slam from Neville. As he looks to target Seth Rollins now. Big German suplex sends him down into the corner where Neville wants him. Seth Rollins picking up Neville. Neville firing back with an enziguri. And now we have a reset. As Rollins is the one to get the upper hand in the corner. Big flying forearm and then an extra punch on the way down. Just to make sure Neville understands who the real big dog in this match is. Seth Rollins into the corner. Buckle bomb. Just floored Neville. Swinging neck breaker now. Rollins looking to end this matchup into the corner goes Neville. But Neville's able to reverse the buckle bomb into his own sit-out power bomb. Oh, and it's just a two count as Rollins is able to answer the call in the corner. This is not where Rollins wants to be. Wait a minute. Red arrow onto the back of Seth Rollins. Is that going to be it? It is! And Neville and Jordan D have defeated Seth Rollins and Hell Spartan Z and will be moving on to the next round in PCW. Bury me softly, brother. Neville doing it. Okay, buddy. Hey, like I said, I didn't know who was going to come out of this match, but sometimes it just be like that. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother tournament. Introducing first, representing William C. from Patreon.com forward slash C. Impulse, Eddie Guerrero. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Koki the Clown from Patreon.com forward slash C. Impulse, the machine, Brian Cage. Eddie Guerrero and Brian Cage, two newcomers to PCW. Eddie Guerrero, of course, going to be the favorite in this matchup for Brian Cage. No slack himself. We'll see which one's the one to move on into the next round. Eddie Guerrero obviously has the experience edge on Brian Cage, but Brian Cage has been around the world himself, currently in Impact Wrestling. And he's got the Steiner Screwdriver, so you might want to watch out for that one. I mean, that could take anybody out at any point. 
Brian Cage there with a the jawbreaker. Eddie Guerrero with a neck breaker. That's old school neck breaker action there too. Brian Cage now picking up Eddie. No, but Eddie's able to come through. Just a one count. Now Brian Cage is stalking Eddie Guerrero. Big power slam there, but Eddie with the kick to the head. Going for the chop. Brian Cage suplex. Oh my goodness. The strength of Brian Cage with the delayed suplex there. Into the corner now. Eddie from the center of the ring. No, Brian Cage is going to be able to see it coming and get out of the corner. Oh, the surfboard. Look at that. With the forearm across the face. Eddie now sending Brian into the corner. There's a big forearm right there to the back. Now some punches from Brian Cage, a punch from Eddie Guerrero, a kick from Brian Cage. The back and forth here in the corner as Brian Cage hits him with the body slam, sends him to the outside. Now Cage is gonna get some stamina in the center of the ring, but Eddie is not gonna let it last too long. A big fish, oh look at this, what? The trifecta? This man hit two fish, what? Eddie Guerrero with the crossbody, but Brian Cage gets out of the way. Wow, Eddie was wilding right there. What a string of moves as both men start firing off punches. And it's going on and on and on and on. Brian Cage dropping Eddie, but Eddie gonna fire back a big, that was an aggressive body slam there from Eddie Guerrero, who hits another one of those old school neck breakers, now sends him over. Look at this, Brian Cage, no, he's not gonna give up. Eddie Guerrero now center of the ring. Throwing Brian Cage off the ropes. Big tilt to world backbreaker there from Eddie G, who goes for the pin. No, it's just a two count as the big man, the machine. Brian Cage is able to kick out. Hey! The low blow from Eddie Guerrero. Lied, cheat, and steal. You know the story of Eddie G. Oh, a DDT from Eddie Guerrero now as he picks up Brian Cage. Off the ropes goes the big man, Eddie. Another tilt to world backbreaker. The face wash with the boots is going to do it all around the ring, but Brian Cage able to stop that from happening because that would have been a rough time. A knee there from Eddie drops Brian Cage, but he throws him into the turnbuckle on the other side of the ring now. Wait a minute, Brian able to fire back. Big power bomb just flushed Eddie Guerrero, but he's going to drop him. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Is that a pin? 2.9. I didn't know if that was a pin or not. I guess his shoulders were down. Brian Cage in the... Oh, wait a minute. Nope, Eddie. Wait a minute. Oh my God, a widow's peak there. From, it was almost like a gory bomb variation there. As it goes for the pin on Brian Cage and Eddie Guerrero gets it. And Eddie Guerrero and William C. will be moving on to the next round of the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Lie, cheat, and steal. Viva la raza. You know the deal. Eddie G coming through 69%. Nice. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Barry Musafi Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Julian B from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Big Popper Pump, Scott Steiner. And his opponent, representing Craig R from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Booker. We have the man who won the tournament for April 2018. We have Scott Steiner, and he is representing a new patron. He is representing Julian B, and he is looking to take him to another championship. Scott Steiner looking for that two-peat, baby. But first, he's going to have to try to get past Booker T and Craig R. Old main event mafia buddies going at it right now. Old WCW. Hey, these two dudes have gone down the path together. WCW. WWE, TNA, they have been down the line. Pretty much any company one has been in, the other has at least appeared in. As Booker T is looking to drop Scotty early, but Scotty, oh, okay. I'm liking that move right there from Scott Steiner, almost like a little Tiger Bomb action. I can dig it. I can dig that. Now off the ropes goes Booker T as he drops Scott Steiner. I guess Booker T didn't really go off the ropes, but Scott Steiner did. One of them did. Somebody went off the ropes. As Scotty fires with some headbutts. Center of the ring off the ropes goes Scotty with an elbow. Gonna take a little more than that to drop down Booker T. Booker's been through the ringer a few times, as has Scotty. Now Scott's got him in the corner. 
Oh, he's putting him up. Oh, no, there's no way. He was. I think he might have been looking for that super Frankensteiner two. But Booker's able to stop that in the corner now. Scotty, the one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, it's just five. Oh, my goodness. Booker T is hitting the Steiner recliner. It was almost a variation of it on, on Scott Steiner. That's a little disrespectful in my eyes. We'll see how Scotty takes it. Next couple of moves will tell you that much. Booker sends him to the outside of the ring. Scotty now trying to get back up and get back into this matchup. But a big spine buster and a kick to the head. Scotty didn't even move. He don't care. Belly to belly. This man don't care. Now back in the ring, Scott Steiner and Booker T. A sidewalk slam will drop Scott Steiner. Off the ropes, another big spine buster from Booker T. As Scott hasn't been able to do very much in this match, but you got to remember the moves that Scott Steiner hit do two times as much damage because he's not normal. He's a genetic freak. Booker T with a punch to the stomach of Scott Steiner. Wait a minute. Bookend from Booker T. And is he going to be able to take out the April champion? No, as Scotty is able to answer. Maybe he might have been looking for a Steiner recliner there trying to get up on Booker T. And Booker saw that coming with a kick to the head. Oh, and here it goes. We're breaking down Scott Steiner and Booker T. Booker T firing Scott Steiner, firing everybody, firing. We're going off on each other, and they're still going. Booker T with the kick, but Scotty with the shoulder tackle. Uh-oh. An STF from Scott Steiner. Okay. Steiner breaking out that STF. He really wants to move on to that next round. Big exploder down to Booker T. And look at the muscles of Scott Steiner. You just don't see that anywhere else. PCW has got your hook up. Scotty is dragging Booker center of the ring. Steiner recliner center of the ring. Is Booker going to give up? No, he's able to fight out of the Steiner recliner. Into a bookend. Is that going to be it? Booker T? No, 2.9. The April champion Scott Steiner keeping the dream alive. As Booker T is trying to stop that dream. He wants to become a nightmare for Scott Steiner. Oh, yo, Scott's flexing. The man's flexing. Big Steiner line from Steiner. Oh, going right down low there. Okay. Shoulder tackle, Steiner recliner. Is Booker T going to be able to fight out of the Steiner recliner again? Wow. The heart of Booker T is shining through as he is looking to take Craig R to the next round, but... Scott Steiner, oh, going to the well, maybe a little too much there as Booker T drops the knee on Scotty. Big splutter there from Scott Steiner onto Booker T as he picks Booker T back up. Off the ropes goes Scotty with a big Steiner line. Another Steiner line. Big belly to belly suplex. Oh, I thought maybe he was going for another Steiner line, is he? No, what? A Spike Frankensteiner from Scott Steiner? Whenever you think the man has shown you it all, he hasn't even shown you a little bit. Big exploder to Booker T there, and the big man's flexing up. The genetic freak is going into that mode, but a spine buster where Booker T will stop that momentum flush. Big back kick there from Booker T. Sidewalk slam as we have a reset now at 12 minutes, 25 seconds into this matchup. And now Scotty's flexing. The man's flexing on Booker T as he drags him to the center of the ring right in the middle of that C. And the Steiner recliner. And that is all she wrote. Scott Steiner, the April 2018 champion, is taking Julian B to the next round in PCW. Bury me softly, brother. Scott Steiner doing it again, people. Doing it again. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Bury Me Softly Brother Tournament. Introducing first, representing Dean L from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Kevin Owens. And his opponent, representing Insurrection from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Tomohiro. Ishii!
And now for the final match in round number two, we have Kevin Owens versus Tomohiro Ishii. In the beginning of, of Ishii's theme song, it sounds like Goosebumps. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever recognized that, but I could almost swear that that was the like the beginning of the Goosebumps intro. I'm just saying, if anyone wants to go listen to the Goosebumps intro and then listen to the beginning of Ishii's theme song, it kind of sounds like it a little bit. Well, I think Ishii's theme song is mad underrated, though. It's awesome. I enjoy it. The Stone Puffer back at it again. Now, Kevin Owens is on this match right now with full control. A backbreaker off of Ishii. A big senton, but he, hey, this man Ishii looking stout. Look at this man's muscles. Those delts are popping. Uh-oh, the chops in the corner from Ishii. He's going for the pin on KO, trying to get that win as soon as possible to retain some strength for the next round. Ishii throwing a forearm now. Oh, wow. Okay, an atomic drop from Kevin Owens. Old school a little bit. As he goes for a choking move on Ishii. Ishii able to get out of that. In the corner is not where KO wants to be as Ishii will just tear his ass up. Stone Pupper boys. 141, bite. Ishii throwing a punch. Kevin Owens said, nah, you good. Sidewalk slam, backbreaker. Big boy Sinton from the top rope. And now we have a reset. Ishii throwing a knee. Oh, he's rubbing his. Look at that elbow meat in Kevin Owens' face. Into the corner goes KO. Now Ishii, big clothesline. Oh, and here we go. The boys are going back and forth. Two big boys doing it. But no, Ishii going to be able to get dropped by KO. But KO is going to fall using all of his strength there. Wait a minute. Brain Buster? No, I don't. Look, the look, this look at the strength of Ishii. Did you see how long? Do you, Kevin Owens is not a small man. And Ishii just held him up there like it was nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Big power bomb stuffs Kevin Owens. Is it? Mm, I thought that was it. I thought that was it, but a 2.9 is KO is able to answer back, and now he's looking to shift that momentum. Ishii's going to try to stop that. Big forearm there, center of the ring, just about. KO with a body slam. Does he want to go back up to the top rope? No, he's going to try to get his stamina back. Oh, a running power slam. Okay. KO breaking out some moves I didn't really expect him to be hitting here, but he did it. Ishii now picking up Kevin Owens right near the top. Good God, that damn lariat. Just took Kevin Owens' head off, but he returned the favor, and now he's going for a pin. Just a two count as Ishii's able to kick out. This last match here will decide who moves on. The big chops to KO. Again with the chops from Tomohiro Ishii. Uh-oh. No, Ishii able to stop it. The back and forth action here from Ishii and Kevin Owens, and once again, the pure strength of Ishii is just something else. But Kevin, how did Kevin even, oh my God, how did he even do that? My man got right back up into that senton. As he hits him with a suplex, a punch drops Ishii. Wait a minute, DDT now, right in the corner here as Kevin Owens gets his stamina back, but Ishii's out on his feet. Just kidding, a headbutt fighting spirit from Ishii. A suplex will put him down, but Ishii's fighting spirit is kicked into maximum overdrive, and now he is looking to finish this up. A DDT drops Ishii, but he's back up to his feet now. The chops. Kevin Owens is looking for a way to end this, and that is one hell of a way to do it. What is he waiting for here? Big KO with a front missile drop kick. And now a chop. Uh-oh, the chop's coming in from Ishii. They're coming in, but Ishii now. Oh, wait a minute. KO from behind. No, Ishii from behind. Big German suplex bridge there. Going for the pin. No rope breaks in PCW. Just a two. Off the ropes. KO with a back body drop. Sends Ishii to the floor right in the corner. KO's been using the hell out of that turnbuckle. Thought maybe he would go for it there, but off the ropes goes KO. Back body drop from Ishii. All we need to see is one of them brain busters. Oh, right. He's noggin right there. Ishii with a shoot headbutt. Picking KO up. KO from behind. Into the turnbuckle. Bull Liger kick into the turnbuckle. KO's been watching them Japanese tapes. It's a 2.9. Now Ishii's firing off with the forearms. Kevin Owens with the forearm to the back of the neck. Oh my 
goodness, the half and half just sent Ishii flying across the ring. Woo! Sending him for a ride. I like that move. One, two, three. Oh my god, and Kevin Owens has done it. And that was round number two of PCW Bury Me Softly, brother. The next video will be moving on to the next round where the final 16 wrestlers will be facing off to see who goes to the final eight. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Remember, if you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. If you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody goody, and I'd love to hear what your favorite match was down in the comments below. I'll see you next time. See you.